There is troubling news about the pandemic. Over the past week, the United States averaged about 43,000 cases per day. That's up 24% from the average two weeks ago. So far, more than 7 million Americans are known to have been infected. The death toll now tops 204,000. CBS's Lilia Luciano has more. Tailgating in full swing in South Carolina this weekend with little social distancing. The fun going on in New York City, where police are cracking down on karaoke clubs, bars, and crowded parties. This is America. We should be able to do what we want. Authorities even breaking up a wedding reception in Queens, where nearly 300 people packed into a hall. Every day they got part over there. Every day. Tonight, New York and New Jersey face growing clusters of the virus. New restrictions could follow. New trouble in the heartland, too. The number of daily cases is spiking in almost every Midwestern state. The CDC warns that 90% of Americans are still susceptible to the virus. Former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb says the U.S. is already seeing an upsurge. We were always facing heightened risk of increased spread of coronavirus as we headed into the fall and the winter. Now we're there. But in Southern California, one bit of good news. The spread of the virus slowing down in Los Angeles and Orange counties. They wish that corona would be over and they would go back to school. Are you feeling safe? Yes, I'm feeling very safe. It's normalizing a bit, you know what I mean? It feels good. It's good, it's good to feel that because I feel like we were so isolated from everything before. Orange County is moving closer to more reopenings and could be in California's less restrictive orange tier as early as Tuesday. But that doesn't apply to theme parks or to stadiums. Jamie? Lilia, thank you.